it's enough when it open up better this way. Yeah, that's good. All right, go. Okay. Even though the people of God, Israel, got into Canaan, their leader Joshua died, and there was no king in Israel, and everyone did what was right in his own eyes. God did raise up judges to offer relief for the people whenever they cried out to him and repented, but the people were unhappy with that. The, uh, it was hugely disorganized, and the people wanted a king, and God gave them that. However, it didn't change uh, the people's response toward God and their worship of him. They continued uh, to be idolaters and to worship their own gods, and their hearts continued to be wicked. And even the kings that were raised up, uh, like Saul, who went in and attempted to sacrifice on his own rather than following the ordained means that God had given for priests only to sacrifice, um, Saul, who was a king, was an idolater himself. And the most famous of kings, David, who was an adulterer and a murderer, uh, the kings did not bring about right worship of God to Israel. So God sent prophets into the land, and the prophets warned the people and preached to them and proclaimed that they must turn from their idolatrous ways and they must worship the true and the living God. But however, for the most part, the warnings went unheeded and the people of God remained idolaters and they remained worshipers of self and other idols. And God brought about um, destruction and warning uh, to the people and eventually sent them away uh, into captivity. But he didn't do that before he sent prophets like the prophet Isaiah who promised that there was a coming king in the Messiah who would come and he would be the sacrifice even for his people. He would not only be a king but he would be a prophet and a priest for his people so that, that those Old Testament offices would one day be combined into the one office in the coming of Jesus Christ. Now there were kings who were better than what we know about people like Saul and the worst sins of David. And we can look at Hezekiah and there was great reform in Hezekiah's days, but then following that people would go back into their idolatrous ways again. Or Josiah, who was a great example, who sought the Lord and brought about much reform to the worship of the living God. But in the end it was too little, too late for the people of God. Our great hope is that it's not too little and it's not too late for us. We have opportunity to repent and to serve God and we have that opportunity because the Messiah has come and his name is Jesus. He is our only hope. So for us to repent from our idolatrous ways is our only hope and to, for us to cast ourselves onto the mercy that we have in Christ.